I'd be happy to share my story with you in my own words. I came into this world on June 22, 1933, in beautiful San Francisco, California. My parents, Leon Goldman and Betty Rosenberg, raised me with a strong work ethic and a deep sense of responsibility to our community. Growing up in the city by the bay, I witnessed firsthand the diversity and vibrancy that would shape my worldview. After graduating from Stanford University in 1955 with a degree in history, I was eager to continue my education and pursue a career in law. I enrolled at the University of California, Hastings College of the Law, where I honed my legal skills and developed a passion for justice and advocacy. In 1958, I proudly earned my Juris Doctor degree. My journey into public service began with a clerkship for the California State Assembly Judiciary Committee. This role allowed me to gain valuable insight into the legislative process and the inner workings of government. It was during these early years that I recognized the potential for positive change through political engagement. In the 1960s, I ventured into local politics, starting with my appointment to the California Women's Board of Terms and Parole. As a woman entering the political arena, I faced challenges and obstacles, but I was determined to overcome them. I went on to serve as a member of the San Francisco Board of Supervisors, where I made history as the first woman to preside over a legislative body in California. My life took an unexpected turn in 1978 when I assumed the role of Mayor of San Francisco following the tragic assassinations of Mayor George Moscone and Supervisor Harvey Milk. It was a tumultuous time, but I was committed to restoring stability, fiscal responsibility, and public safety to our city during my tenure. In 1992, I had the honor of being elected to the United States Senate, representing the great state of California. My service in the Senate has allowed me to work on a wide range of critical issues, from gun control and healthcare to environmental conservation and national security. I have been privileged to be part of significant legislative milestones that have shaped our nation's future. Throughout my career, I have remained dedicated to my constituents and to the principles of equality, justice, and environmental sustainability. My journey has been one of public service and a commitment to making a positive impact on the lives of the people I represent. I want to thank you for allowing me to share my life's journey with you. My hope is that my story serves as an inspiration to others who are passionate about public service and making a difference in their communities and our great nation.